Games, Comics, Anime, Codenamed Epic. Hey guys, and welcome to uh, Off Topic. This is our special WonderCon edition. Uh, I'm Kirby Kid, And this is Black Superman. And we're going to talk about what happened at WonderCon. Um, day one, a lot of Marvel stuff. Yeah, a lot of Marvel stuff, a lot of really cool things that we got a chance to see. Some, uh, some new things that are getting ready to be happening. Enjoyed taking the time there. <laughs> it was really cool. Like they had this new thing called uh, Marvel Augmented Reality, which is going to come in with the, the new Infinite Comics. Uh, Infinite Comics is like a motion type thing, but not motion comics. Like we didn't get a chance to really see it because they only let, let a few people in the crowd look at it. But from what we were told, <laughs> it's like the halfway point. Yeah. Which, by the way, if you ever get a chance to go do a Marvel panel and you're a hot girl, you'll get a chance to do pretty much everything. Or you're a so, kid. Or yeah, you're or you're a kid. <laughs> um, and augmented reality is like you can put your iPhone and your Android over the actual physical comic book, and then like a character, like like Iron Man, will walk off into your your device, and you'll find out everything you want to know about Iron Man. Or you get like trailers or whatever. It, it seemed kind of cool. Yeah. So I mean, uh, personally, I would have you know loved to have seen Iron Man walk onto my phone, but I'm not a hot girl. I'm, <laughs> right. I'm just a hot guy. <laughs> <laughs> so. Yeah, that, 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 was, that was really awesome. Um, we also got a chance to play with Wacom Cintiq tablet, which um, I'm not an artist, but Walter, what did you think? Totally freaking awesome. I mean, you know, now, the price. I mean, the price, if I could get them to give it to me for like five bucks, that would be great, but it's never going to happen. But upon drawing on that thing, realistically speaking, nothing else is ever going to compare again. Not paper, not any other kind of tablet. <gasps> right. I must have one. Right. I and mean, praying. Must have. It looked cool. I mean, I get a chance to play with it because, you know, I, I don't draw, so I don't want to embarrass myself in front of WonderCon. Um, but now let's talk about what happened later on that night. Uh, we saw the world premiere of Superman vs. the Elite. And Black Superman. It was, it was beautiful. <laughs> <sighs> Let me tell you how good this movie is. We don't want to spoil it for you, but it was so good that me, Kirby Kid, and all my anti-Superman hate actually almost liked Superman for a good two seconds. He was pretty awesome in this movie, I have to admit. And I, who love Superman, love Superman even more. Yeah. It was 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 probably the best Superman movie or the best Superman pretty much anything I've ever seen. Now next day two. Um I don't know about you, but I spent well after running through the rain, thank you, volleyball convention. Um I running through the rain, uh, I played Ninja Storm uh, for about an hour to warm up. And I watched you play Ninja Storm for yeah. about an hour and I personally felt bad for pretty much everybody else who was right. there. <laughs> I mean, you know, like like I've played I've played I've played Kirby Kid a, a couple of times before, and I'm okay at fighting games. I really am, uh, but this just I, I feel like a little baby getting shaken. <laughs> you know, it's, it's yeah. horrible. And and at least I found out that it wasn't just me. Right. Uh, there was a tournament later that day. It was King of the Hill. You know, whoever gets the most wins, like the top four, get to go to the the finals the next day. It was supposed to be a two-day tournament. Um, I was put in the first match, and I got to like my ninth win, and they're like, okay, look, we need to cap your wins, because you're about to run through the whole tournament <laughs> in one sitting. Um, so I got an automatic shot to the finals, and then um, everyone else, they restarted the tournament to give them a fair shot, I guess. Um, but it was really fun playing. Um, I, I played as Chio. He so. says it's really fun playing. He, you know, he forgets about <laughs> the other 90 people who we you know, beat down. Yeah, I, I, I heard a lot of people who uh, did not like me <laughs> behind me because they were all behind just watching me play Storm. And I'm like, I'm sorry, but I, I have to kill. <laughs> well, besides Storm, I mean, we uh, did a couple of panels there. Right. Um, saw a lot of cosplayers. Right. The, took a lot of pictures of cosplayers, um, which you can take a look at on the site. Right. Um, and, you know, basically, well, I chased around cosplayers while you right. beat down people. <laughs> we can't forget the most important thing we did. Right. At Comic uh, at WonderCon. We, we met Dean Ferrigno. Ferrigno! We met. We met the Hulk. And, and he signed a picture for us. Um, <laughs> the man could crush me if he so willed. <laughs> and he's like in his seventies, right? Yeah, or like like late sixties, anyway. Yeah, he's... but like he's a okay for anyone who's never seen Lou Ferrigno. I mean, because I, I guess maybe you know some of the younger people maybe never have. Um, and, and in his prime, he was like three hundred and twenty-five pounds. Okay, that's thirty years ago. 
He still weighs about 280. And it's all muscle. Right. It's ridiculous how big this dude is. Like, he shook my hand and I'm like, you could kill me. <laughs> um, so yeah, that, that, that was day two. That was an amazing day two. Um, let's talk about day three. Um, we got to talk to Hiroshi Matsuyama, the head production manager over at uh, CyberConnect2. Um, he's a pretty cool guy. Yeah, he is. Yeah, and, yeah really jovial. And yeah, and um, you know, I was asking questions about you know the DLC, and I know a lot of people on Naruto forums, especially, want me to ask about DLC. Um, he said that there's no DLC for this game because they believe in putting the entire game on the disc available for you to use. They don't believe in having you have to download something separately. Capcom. <clears throat> um, oh, so er it's everything that's in the game, <clears throat> yeah, exactly. Er everything that's in the game is is there already. We we got a lot of free stuff. Free stuff was awesome. Free stuff was awesome, and and the, especially from the Ninja Storm guys, because yeah, they had a food truck, a, nin a Ninja Storm food truck that um, was pretty awesome. It was really windy. Uh, you'll see that in the footage while I'm speaking right now. It's really windy, so it's hard to get a good shot. But um, it was a Ninja Storm food truck, and they were giving out free uh, chicken teriyaki, uh, steak teriyaki, and like these little cool Ninja Storm bowls. Um, Which we got some extras of. Yeah, we got some extras of. They had Ninja Storm napkins, Ninja Storm uh, water bottles. It was crazy. Um, and after that, it was uh, the Ninja Storm panel. The last panel of WonderCon. Which was, honestly, even though it was in Japanese, the most awesome panel I've <laughs> ever been to. Yeah. For I mean, one reason and one reason only, which we'll get to at the end of this. Right. Um, so like we got there and um, it, was, it was the final round. Um, anyone who's ever been to WonderCon or a convention knows that they have these giant projector screens. That's what we were playing on for the finals. It was me and three other people. Um, it's pretty awesome, especially when you get a chance to look at it. Yeah. Look at the footage. You, you'll you, you'll, you'll it's love huge. it. It's humongous. Um, and, you know, when, when the guy... Like, we were already nervous because we're going to be playing on the big screen in front of the people who made the game and whatnot. And, you know, when we heard the applause, when they said, welcome to the last panel of WonderCon, we turned around and there was like 700 people in the room. Only 700? Are you sure? Well, I, I got to about 700, like, estimating, and then my brain just said, David, just turn around. <laughs> you don't want to see this. You know, kid, just don't look over there. You'll get nervous. Um, it's not like the Million Man March. You only saw 700. I saw about 1,000. Yeah. So, I, I, we turned back around, and um, the, the first round was, of course, they always put me in the first round. It was me uh, versus this guy who dressed up as Superman, uh, sorry, Batman. Um, and he picked uh, Sage Bo Naruto. Um, and, a, and a couple assists. I don't remember the assists. You'll see it in the video. Um, and I picked Chio with Donzo and uh, Dari. Um, and as you'll see in the, in the match, like I really thought, like I was gonna get knocked out in the first round. <laughs> he was a good. He was he was a really was good, good player. I if mean, you're watching you know. this, man, you did good. <laughs> and if you're not watching it, then anybody who knows this guy, tell him to watch it because he did good. <laughs> he did good. Yeah. Um, and I I was able to come back from behind and you know and you know win that match. Um, the next match was a mirror match. It was Sasuke versus Sasuke, the other two people. Yeah, and no, we didn't actually get footage of that one because, well, frankly, if Kirby Kid wasn't in it, I didn't really think it mattered. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, um, spoiler alert, in that match, Sasuke, Sasuke won. Wins. Um, so yeah, like, the, the, the joke in the crowd was like, go Sasuke! And just love it, leave it at that, you know? <laughs> um, so I, I played the, in the final round, that you will see, and, um, I kind of woke up and just, you know, steamrolled after my, uh, my uh, nervousness had wore off because so I didn't get to warm up that day. Uh, he was good, but I had a lot of practice against Sasuke's. Naruto's I have a little more trouble around, but I played a lot against that version of Sasuke. It's the new Mangekyo Sharingan version with the Amaterasu and the Suzuno because I kind of knew it would come down to fighting that. So, like, when I trained, I fought against just him, Sazori, and like um, Masked Man. That was it because I knew it would be one of those three. Um, so I was prepared for everything he did. Yeah, and you could tell he was prepared for everything he did too, because he kind of baby shook him. Yeah. But I mean, yeah, <laughs> I, I mean, that being said, dude, if you're watching, it's not, it's not, it's not you. It's, it's not you. Yeah, it's me. I'm sorry. I, <laughs> I should not have played as much. But um, but earlier in the day when we were talking to um uh, Hiroshi-san, um, he, I was asking him how do you feel about about the tournament, and he was like, well, it looks like it's about who can beat you, and I'm like. Oh, thank you. And then he asked me like how I got so good. And you know, for anyone who wants to know how I got good with Chio, I got beat up by Chio <laughs> a lot to the point where I learned how to play her to try and beat her. But then you know, it turns out 
kind of cool character. Um, and you know, we also learned that the puppet users are the hardest to program. So I kind of feel kind of feel special. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Yeah. And then you know, Hiroshi San, of course, told us that even though he dresses like Naruto pretty much everywhere he goes, yeah, it's not actually his favorite character. Yeah, it's Itachi, which is why he's so good in all the games. Um, but yeah, it was really fun. Like, it was cool when I walked up to the booth and and I I, I saw uh, Hiroshi Matsuyama. He was all like, "You're the guy who plays Chio." I'm like, "So da, kino no Chio ba, Chio ba." You know I exist. <laughs> you know, I'm like, that's awesome. You know, like, you're the guy who just walked in and just just destroyed the tournament. I'm like, yeah, that's me. Spoiler alert. The spoiler alert. He plays him. Oh yeah. It, it wasn't pretty. It, I, uh, it wasn't. Pretty. You'll you'll see the footage. We'll have the full video up separately, but um, you'll see it in this video too. I played him, and at first I thought he was gonna like you know beat me because you know he made the game. Well, he was the head guy there, and um, I started beating him and whatnot. And, he, and then he asked, he's like, can I use my ultimate? Because, you know, we worked kind of hard on it. I want to see what it looks like. <laughs> so I, I stood there and I, I let it happen. <laughs> um, and, you know, it, it was really cool to hear the, the crowd and him go, yeah. And then, um, you know, I kept hitting him a little more. Then you maybe shook him. Yeah. And then he, 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 he woke into six tail Naruto form. And then uh, that was pretty cool to hear the crowd roar on that. They're like, oh. Then I, I beat him. And he was a really he was really a good sport. Like he was into the game. Like I like that about him. Like yeah. I've been follow, I've been following his videos um, since Storm One because like he, he, they're they're so energetic about the game. Dude, you know, I don't know that I've ever seen anybody that hyper. Before. <laughs> he's cool. Though. Like he's, he's, he's a cool, cool guy. Yeah, he's a cool guy. He was super hyper about it. Um, and you know that there, there were a few prizes. Uh, the first prize um, that I got is a. Uh, this shirt from Cyber Connect 2. You can't actually buy this shirt. Um, it's from, from Japan. He signed it. This will be going up in the plaque because um, I'm never wearing it. <laughs> and if you ever do, I have to kill you. Right, exactly. Just to save the shirt. And I would understand. Um, the next thing that all the finalists got is we got a, uh, a ramen bowl commemorating the, uh, the 10th anniversary of uh, Naruto games and also selling 10 million uh, units. You should buy ramen and eat ramen in that yeah. bowl. Yeah. That should be the first thing you ever eat in that bowl. I was the only one who didn't get their bowl signed because I plan on using this bowl for everything. <laughs> yeah, and also because, well, let's face it, they only got a bowl. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, uh, and then, you know, I, I got some more surprises that I didn't expect. Um, I got a signed copy of Ninja Storm 1. A signed copy of Ninja Storm 2, another signed copy of Ninja Storm Generations, Naruto Ninja Council 2. Not signed because. Not well, signed because, you know. They didn't have anything. Right. Do. More Ninja Council, Destiny, Path of a Ninja. What looks like every Naruto game for PSP ever. Wait, there's more. Oh, yeah, there's more. This, bo this box is never ending. Naruto DS games. The first Ultimate Ninja sign, which is going to be, you know, the crown it's, it's jewel. With the, with the shirt? Yeah. Uh, Storm, uh, uh, Ultimate Ninja 4, signed. Clash of Ninja for the GameCube, sealed. They don't even make this anymore. I mean, that's crazy. Like, how do you even find these games sealed? Uh, Uzumaki Chronicles, well, there's more. Um... The Wii games, those are there. I got Storm 2 for the Xbox as well, signed. Another GameCube game. <laughs> and, you know, uh, Storm, uh, Ninja Storm, no, sorry, Ultimate Ninja 3. I forgot Storm is PS3 only. Um, also signed. Like, just endless amounts of games. Um, I, also have, I, I also have a plaque coming with me and Hiroshi uh, San just sitting on there looking cool. And a trophy. Oh yeah, and a trophy. Don't know what it looks like, but it's a trophy, so I will accept it. I'm hoping that it looks like the trophy inside the game, just because that would be totally <laughs> yeah, awesome. A giant gold trophy with like a, a shuriken sticking out of it. Yeah, that would, that would be totally awesome. That would be cool. Um, but we, we, we want to thank everybody from Namco, Bandai, and uh, Viz Media that we met. Uh, you guys are really cool to us. Um, thanks for the prizes. <laughs> yeah, and thanks for, by the way, this is why the panel was the best panel ever. Everybody who went there 
got a copy of the Ultimate Ninja Storm. Generations. Uh, Generations. The game that got, just came out on one, Tuesday. Yeah, <laughs> came out on Tuesday. I got it for free. Yup. And so did everybody else in the room. So we, it wasn't even like I got it by association. I got right. it because I went. And you know what that means, guys? Black Superman now has to play Kirby Kid. <sighs> no, suddenly that's now. not suddenly that's not as quite as cool as it was before. Right, right. <laughs> But uh, in, in closing, we don't mention that we're trying to start a Ninja Storm community, a community on par with the Street Fighter or the Marvel vs. Capcom community. Um, if you were at WonderCon or if you just want to start, you know, getting into tournaments, um, contact us at a codenameepic at gmail dot com or leave a, a comment. We're going to start organizing tournaments, guys. It's it's time for our game to be the big the big thing. Um, that's our beeper, letting us know it's time to go. Um, so comment, subscribe, like, and favorite, and uh, let us know how you feel about WonderCon and whether or not you want to be part of our new Storm community. So this is uh, Kirby Kid. This is Black Superman. And signing off.